Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Lucre Studio expert and the founder of Gala Reports. Today I would like to talk about one of templates that I created for you. If you go to my template store and select digital marketing reports, you can find B2B paid traffic leads overview. This template I created based on one of my, oh, not one, even several of my clients' uh, requests. And I think uh, that will be nice to share this template with you as well. This template is good for B2B businesses uh, where you have leads and maybe when you have like uh, really expensive leads and not too many per month. For example, if you are a lawyer, if you sell some accounting services or maybe higher education or some uh, luxury trips. So something uh, where you want to count leads and when you don't have a lot of leads and you have like long distance uh, decision making process. So here we are. This template contains uh, 11 pages. Uh, you can see we have a title here, budget, yearly budget. So I mentioned that it is for B2B for long deals um, services. Uh, because we have yearly budget, we have everything per year here actually. So first page is a title. Uh, what is interesting here on the first page, it is this month, it will change for the last month, every month. <laughs> so in November, you will see here October 23. Um, on the first page, you can see yearly plan and fact budget by month. Uh, here I used free advertising platforms like Bing, Google Ads and Facebook. Uh, if you use different ads platforms, you can change it. Uh, if you have less, for sure, you can remove some columns from here. Or if you have more, you can add other platforms. It's not really difficult. And here we have plan call and uh, plan cost. Uh, this is real budget and percent of spend. So uh, we divide fact spent by plan. So. We can see my random data is not perfect, and by my random data, I spend much more than I had. <laughs> I hope in your real case it will not be the same. And we have this year, so we have the current year, and now is October, so we have spent for October, but we ha don't have spent for November, but we have a plan oh, because now is October. So this is year plan, and below uh, on this page, we can see budget plan for year, uh, per year, per month, and per day. Uh, that could be useful for advertising manager who run campaigns, how, like, which kind of daily budget you can set up. And so this is budget analytics, and we can control if, if we stay in our budget or not. Uh, then we have a view where we can see total leads uh, and some analytics, leads analytics. So we know all our clicks, how much money did we spend for all platforms together, cost per click for all platforms together, again, leads, cost per lead, and oh, conversion rate. And now we have leads analytics per year. So here we have detailed tables. Uh, table with details uh, where you can find information about your leads, conversions, and cost month by month. So for B2B businesses, it's very useful because one month you could have like two leads, other month like 20, and uh, you want to see the dynamic of that. Uh, then after that, we can see how our leads split by channels. Uh, in my template, I have three ad platforms, but if you have more, you can add more, or you can remove if you have only two platforms. Um, so basically, we see how which platform performs better. On other pages, we can check our the same metrics actually that we check for 
all leads together but for each platforms together so we have clicks cost uh, cost per click leads conversion rate and uh, cost per lead for google uh, then details tables uh, then we have some um, google ads performance by campaign and where we can see which campaign perform better uh, and the same logic we have same things for facebook and bin campaigns so exactly same pages so facebook ads same stuff then digitalization by campaigns same for bing and the last page is instagram overview if you don't have instagram you can easily just hide this page from the view mode and that's it or even remove it if you don't need it now for instagram we have different page um here what i think is really important so how many posts we did stories our rich likes, comments, and a number of followers. Uh, this dynamic with the last month. Here again, we can see dynamic for the last 12 months and uh, our likes and comments. So you can check if we are growing or not. And Instagram is something that we really need uh, 12 month dynamic because it's something that we should grow in uh, constantly. And let's check what do we have on the back end. If I click to edit, you can see that I have 12 page. Uh, 12 page is like with some questions and uh, supporting information how to use this template. So if you buy it, you will have some instructions how to use this template. Um, we have data sources. For, for current report, I have to use three data sources. Um, I click edit and this is Google Sheets. Um, so current dashboard works based on Google Sheets. Um, when you buy this template, you will see the first tab, help tab, where is instructions. Uh, so which data you should update to before you copy your dashboard or after you copy your dashboard but to replace blank data to your real project so here is instructions but basically is super easy you have a budget tab uh, you have months here and you have your platforms here so you can change platforms names here on help tab and you can uh, change your start date here for example i will change google ads to pinterest if you go to budget it is changed to pinterest i will come back to google uh, same with date here are all yellow tab all yellow cells you should change to your real budget so this is a super random data uh, you just add your monthly budget for each platforms on Google Ads page, you can open your Google Ads account and create a report with a year, month campaign and these metrics that I have in this tab. And just download CSV document and put it here. Just it, you should to replace yellow cells for your real data. Same stuff for Facebook and Bing. Open your ads account, download CSV file with the same metrics and just paste it here. That is it what you need to do. And for Instagram, oh, you actually, yeah, same stuff. Just add your data here. If you need this report month by month, once per month, I think you really can add it manually. It will not take a lot of time. But if you want your report update daily basis, I recommend you to use third-party connector services that will pull data automatically to your Google Sheets. Uh, I have some recommendations here. So when you buy the template, you can see my recommendations here, the platforms that I use, and you can find link, links and test connectors. Uh, with these connectors, your data will be updated automatically daily basis or weekly basis as you wish. But you have to pay for that monthly. Uh, so please calculate 
what is more expensive for you like to update manually or to buy a connector i think uh when you pay people usually it's more expensive so maybe it's really worth it to pay for connector services and pull data automatically and uh, i have three tabs here with blue like uh three tabs with ls ls it means looker studio so this tabs connected to looker studio here you don't see yellow cells so you don't need to do anything uh just tabs that we connect to google or to looker studio uh, when you buy the template you receive a configuration link and you will have only one button here copy the dashboard so when you copy the dashboard mm, oh sorry make a copy uh, you will see this menu uh, just confirm that you connect Google Sheets that you receive to the documents and click copy report just it then you can uh, you will receive a document without my logo so you add your logo you go to theme in layout customize it and change colors to your colors and basically that is it um, a report is ready to use and you can see data for your B2B business. It's super nice. Hope you enjoy this template. Uh, also, I want to mention if you want my help or my team help um, to customize your dashboard, we can offer you these services as well. So if you say me, if you tell me, okay, I like this template, but I have no idea how to change colors and branding to my own business okay fine uh, just tell me about it and we can help you to customize this dashboard to your case also we can help you to update some fields you can tell me okay i don't like this google ads page uh, for example this is fine but on campaign level i want to see different charts Again, it's fine. I can help you to do it. Um, it will cost you additional. It it will be ad an additional cost, but uh, it definitely we can do whatever you want <laughs> from your, with your data, and we can create any kind of dashboard that you need. I think that is it about this dashboard. Hope you really like it. Plus. God, please let me know about it <laughs> subscribe to my channel uh, check my online store and if you want to learn how to create this kind of dashboard by yourself uh, enroll to my Looker Studio online course bye bye and talk to you soon